I'm Ananda Bochita. Here's a look at what's happening today. In an effort to make sure we're bringing you facts and not fear, let's get you up to speed with the latest on the coronavirus here in Northern California. In Yolo County, public health experts have confirmed the first case of coronavirus. Health officials say the woman is in the hospital and improving. Placer County health officials confirmed three new cases with ties to the Grand Princess cruise ship, which is off the coast of San Francisco right now. Two of the cases had mild symptoms and already feeling better. The third has mild symptoms currently, and all three are under self-quarantine at home. Now, most of the coronavirus cases popping up are mild. And today we learned that 21 people who are still aboard that cruise ship have tested positive for the coronavirus, including 19 crew members. Vice President Mike Pence making the announcement today. Pence says the federal government is working with the state officials on a plan to bring the ship to a non-commercial port this weekend. And the threat of coronavirus has prompted the cancellation of the South by Southwest Festival. This is an annual event held in Austin. The cancellation comes days after several companies pulled out out of the festival and more than 50,000 people had signed a petition to get it canceled. It had been scheduled to start on March 13th. Now for a check of your weather, here's meteorologist Tracy Humphrey. Hey, thank you, Nanda. Well, it's Friday, a pre relatively quiet Friday before we have an opportunity for rain and snow showers to revisit the area throughout much of your day on Saturday and off and on in the forecast for Sunday. Outside around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we got 59 degrees in Sacramento with plenty of clouds filtering in. 67 in Stockton, 71 in Modesto, 62 in Marysville, and 54 degrees down in Tahoe. Take a look at your weather timeline. Clouds are going to be increasing as we move into the overnight as a frontal boundary gets closer to the area in tandem with a low pressure system. And what all that means is we are really going to be set up for a very nice opportunity for rain showers moving in throughout parts of the valley tomorrow and an opportunity for some really nice amounts of snow showers coming in as well. So here is a look at your three-day forecast. For your Friday, we started out in the mid-60s with some breaks of sunshine. As we move into Saturday, clouds will be lowering and thickening throughout the morning into the afternoon. Temperatures much colder back behind the passage of that cold front. We'll have an opportunity to pick up close to an inch of rainfall in some of the upper foothills as you add in Saturday, Sunday into Monday afternoon and take a look at those high temperatures well below average in the upper 50s. Once you take a look at Sunday, we'll have the opportunity for improving conditions throughout the day. Maybe a few rogue showers here or there, but the bulk of the day should be rain free. Afternoon highs coming in around 60 degrees. Now, if you're thinking about heading toward the Sierra, there is a winter weather advisory in effect. Uh, some of the uh, most likely to see some of the most of the snowfall coming in. I know I'm going to get it together. Most of that snowfall coming in throughout the day on Saturday will be heavy at times. Chain controls ex are expected as well as some travel delays. Uh, areas above 4,500 feet in elevation could pick up up to eight inches of snowfall. And that's some good news. That is a look at your weather forecast and now you're all caught up with what's happening today. Get up to the minute weather alerts directly to your phone with the ABC 10 app. Stay informed with your local 10 day forecast, live radar, breaking news and traffic information. Download now from the App Store or Google Play. ABC 10, wherever you are.